The following segment will discuss tummy tuck or abdominoplasty. An abdominoplasty, or what is commonly called a tummy tuck, is a procedure where excess skin, including fat, is removed from the abdomen, and often the underlying abdominal wall muscles are tightened. This obviously differs from liposuction in that liposuction does not remove any excess skin, the abdominal wall is not tightened, and the scars are much smaller with liposuction. Although they can sometimes be used together, the indications and benefits of abdominoplasty are clearly different from those of liposuction. These are photos taken of a patient who had a major abdominoplasty performed with relocation of her belly button. The after pictures were taken two weeks after her procedure to give you an idea of the appearance of the scar in the surgical area this soon after surgery. The small vertical scar in the middle of the horizontal scar is created from closure of the defect where the old belly button was cut out. It is important to note that the location and design of the incision for this procedure varies among surgeons. Be sure to discuss this and your concerns with your surgeon. These are before and six week after photos of another patient who has benefited from an abdominoplasty. Again, the scar is obviously red at this point and will fade over time. The extent and location of the scar, however, was an excellent trade-off for this patient as she significantly reduced the size of her waistline. She is now able to wear a variety of clothes she was unable to wear comfortably prior to the procedure. In properly selected patients, abdominoplasty is a procedure that can offer dramatic, immediate, and long-lasting results. Here is a before and after photo of a sample patient who has had an abdominoplasty or what is commonly called a tummy tuck. Excess skin and fat have been removed and the abdominal muscles have been tightened. The after photos on the right were taken approximately three months after the procedure. The redness along the scar line will continue to fade and become pale or white over time. These are before and 10 month after pictures of a patient who had an abdominoplasty. Her main complaint was her sagging skin and stretch marks prior to having this procedure. Although the scar can be noticed, this appears to be a worthwhile trade-off for her problem. These are another set of before and after photos of a patient who had a tummy tuck performed. The after photos were taken over a year after the procedure. She was able to remove excess skin and fat and remove some of the stretch marks resulting from pregnancy. Her abdominal wall was also tightened. The small vertical scar between her belly button and lower transverse scar is the result of not being able to remove the defect created when her belly button was moved. These are before and one year after photos of a patient who had a tummy tuck performed. Her scars are not quite faded out yet and again there is a small vertical scar above her horizontal scar where the original belly button had been cut out. If she had more excess skin, this defect would have been totally removed. With a tummy tuck, excessive skin can be removed as well as having the opportunity to actually tighten the abdominal wall or stomach muscles. After having children, her abdominal wall was not flat and on her side view you can see the improvement from this procedure. Tummy tucks are frequently described as mini or major. These vary depending on the length of the scar and the area they affect. Generally, the smaller the incision, the less skin can be removed. If you have a lot of excess skin, the incision will need to be longer to remove the excess skin. These incisions and their resulting scars are placed low on the abdomen, usually just above the pubic hair, and extend for varying lengths to the sides towards the hips. A mini tummy tuck is designed for patients who primarily have some excess skin and possibly poor muscle tone in the area between the belly button and the pubic area. That area is shown in this graphic as the gridded area. The scar for a mini tummy tuck is shown on the graphic on the right is horizontally oriented and of a variable length above the pubic area. It usually does not extend to the hip bones. Some excess skin is removed from below the belly button. If the stomach wall bulges out in this area, Permanent sutures can be placed in this area to tighten the abdominal wall and provide a tighter, flatter contour. With a mini tummy tuck, the belly button is usually not relocated. A major tummy tuck is indicated for those patients with substantial excess skin which requires a longer incision or scar to remove. Usually the poor abdominal wall tone or bulging involves the entire abdominal area between the ribs and the pubic area as shown with the grid. 
Thus, the abdominal wall muscles often require tightening above and below the belly button. With these patients, the horizontally oriented incision or scar often extends from one hip bone or iliac crest to the other as shown on the photo on the right. The design of this incision varies among surgeons as they attempt to hide the final scar under the bathing suit. The belly button is detached from the surrounding skin and is brought back out in the appropriate location as the excess skin is pulled down like a window shade and discarded. Sometimes the opening created from relocating the belly button can result in a small vertical scar below the new belly button. This occurs if the surgeon is unable to remove enough excess skin to include this opening. This small vertical scar could be in the location noted in this graphic. Often these procedures can be effective in removing stretch marks and various scars from previous surgeries in exchange for a less noticeable scar. Major tummy tucks are not advisable for those planning pregnancies, especially if they are planning them in the next few years. The money you spend on the tummy tuck will likely be wasted and another tuck even more difficult if your pregnancy changes your stomach and abdominal wall. Poor candidates for abdominoplasty also include individuals who are grossly overweight, in poor medical health, and have long abdominal scars above the belly button. Patient selection and adherence to postoperative instructions is critical to maximize benefit and minimize risks. Under ideal circumstances, complications are unlikely. Complications from many tummy tucks are less likely than major tummy tucks, and the individual risks usually occur less than 10% of the time in most studies. Part of the reasons complications are more frequent in major tummy tucks is that the patients are more likely to be overweight and obviously the surgery is more extensive. The frequency of complications also seem to occur more often if the surgeon has less experience with the procedure. If you are watching this video, you may have already considered the alternatives to having a tummy tuck. These may include changing your present diet or beginning a new diet program, changing your exercise routines or possibly addressing a current medical problem if applicable. Although hernias can often be repaired at the same time an abdominoplasty is performed, they can also be repaired as a single procedure. It is often difficult to significantly decrease the amount of extra skin you may have by other means. While liposuction removes excess fat, it is not designed to remove excess skin. An abdominoplasty is generally an elective surgical procedure, and if you choose not to have it, you will avoid the risks associated with the procedure you should consult with your doctor about available alternatives other than a tummy tuck. 